ஆனந்த வச்சினாமர்த்தம் பார்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ த லார்ட்ஸ் பிளே த இஸ் அ சிங்கிள் என்டிட்டி ஆஃப் பர்சனாலிட்டி இன் திஸ் யூனிவர்ஸ் அப்பேரன்ட்லி யூ ஆர் மெனி பட் ஃபண்டமெண்டலி யூ ஆர் ஒன் த ஒன் இஸ் மெனிஃபெஸ்டேட்டட் இன் த மெனி த வேர்ட் கீலா இன் சென்ஸ்கிரீட் மீன்ஸ் அ லேட்ச் அ கீலா தேர்ஃபோ மீன்ஸ் that which cannot be contained or closed that is this universe the creation of this universe the substance of this universe is one though the creation is manifold why this creation of one into many the reply is only with the creator the supreme lord philosophers try to answer this question but fail How far can a microcosmic brain with its small nerve fibers go even if an individual utilizes all his or her mental powers that individual will not succeed in answering the devotee's approach to this question is however different the devotee enters god's mind mingles his or her mind with that of the supreme being and knows some of the secrets of god's mind from within the devotees say god is supreme they sing his glory and defend all his action that is why god says my devotees are greater than myself a common person says oh god we are tired of your leela what is the need of it we are all suffering and you call it a play the devotee however defends god with this my lord was utterly alone before the creation a person becomes mad if he or she is alone in a big vacant house god was restless before the creation he could neither love nor feel angry with anyone so creation was a compulsion he was created all this forms by multiplying himself when god was alone he had the power to see but there were no objects to be seen now that he has started the creation he sees whatever he thinks if we are his own forms and feel a little restlessness in his creation we are blessed for we are saving our lord from the restlessness of utter loneliness This is the way a devotee looks at a secret of creation. We are all part of the supreme being. He is playing with himself in all our forms. This is a divine play. He is playing hide and seek with himself. Search him in your little eye feeling and you will find the king of kings there. In fact, the name of this search is Sadhana. If you do not go within do you want to go out but where will you go since he is everywhere in this universe and surrounds this universe you cannot go outside of him he is there within and without in your small eye as well as in this big universe he alone is a single entity pervading all forms By thinking of him one becomes free from all kinds of bondages such as fear etc and one who is free from all bondages is he himself knowing him is being him this is the way of establishing oneself with him of becoming the single entity by transcending the many forms Doing sadhana becoming one with this single entity is your birth right which no one can snatch from you kick all obstacles from your path of becoming one with him do not feel afraid of anybody the lord is with you he will guide you forward victory is yours 23rd may 1969 evening ranchi published in anandavachanamrutam part 23